Hey, look, Chicho, it's your favorite game. <laughs> it's the Wiener Schnitzel. It's a fire nephilim. It's the giant Play Doh snake. Look at that run. That's a good, like, beefy run. Good beefy, I'm gonna beat the crap out of some stuff, run. At least, uh, Enoch looks good. <laughs> you think he's going, uh, commando? I don't know. <laughs> oh, my least favorite game that we're going through right now. <laughs> oh, come on. It's <laughs> I'm fun. just kidding. Yeah, it's not. Well, really, bad. to like, be honest, you saying that isn't really a problem because most of the other games we're playing right now are really, really good. Yeah. I don't hate this game. I'm sure. I'm sure it plays good because I like the hack and slash thing. You know, it's just different. That's all. See, look at me punching these guys. How can you not love punching? What are they? They're ring heads. Pretty much, yeah. They're the broken ring heads. Yeah, now. this is another really platform intense heavy level. So I really need to keep my arch here because that's my good platform. Okay. Fantastic. You turn yeah. the. This level is like a nightmare to get perfect ranks on because if you fall once, you avoid a perfect. Who's telling you to be careful? The Archangels. Oh, okay. Are the Archangels powerful? Uh, they are, but it's like they can only react to the world in certain ways kind of a thing. Okay. That's the that, that's thing I hate about some... Not... I don't hate games that do it. I just hate the concept of like, oh, you have really powerful allies, but they're powerless in every circumstance that you happen to be in. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, Legend of Zelda, I'm going through it right now, again, for like the hundredth time. Which? Uh, Ocar Zelda? Ocarina of Time 3D. But, uh, like, the sages, you know. Hey, I'm going to give you my medallion, and I will add my power to yours. It's like, yeah, I haven't received any power from you. <laughs> like, I got a hammer. And a long shot. The hammer's useful. But I got, You're not. I got those things before I got your medallion and your quote unquote. Oh, look, you're in super mode. Oh, okay. This is my super attack with the arch. Whoa. Wow. Pretty, pretty cool. <laughs> pretty okay, awesome. Well, I, it would have been really cool, though, if they would have kept more traditional biblical stuff like if Enoch had like a robe <laughs> instead of like well remember he did at the starting he was like to full he was like full on like yeah. toga and sandals okay. at the start like toga come on it, but it would have been funny just like you know or like sackcloth and ashes type <laughs> thing a little, little yarmulke and little tight curls that would have been good. see there's the um <laughs> did you ever hear about those crazy uh games like made, made by the guy who god i can't remember his name he really likes wrestling and jesus and he made like 10 games about that um i've seen a game online it was a flash game where like you could pick like famous people from the bible no it wasn't that it was okay. um no so it was like because how it worked was that he made an an engine for a wrestling game and then he all then he used that same engine for about twenty different games that were wrestling games and also games about uh, like early Christianity. So it was like a wrestling game, but then it like taught so, the lessons in between. Well, no. So it was like, hey. it was like, you play as like Jesus's like secret follower that nobody else knew about thing like, so it's like a fan fiction basically like a horrible rip off of like the Star Wars The Force Unleashed like yeah it, pr pretty much the like, you, you were wrote in as apostle and you made like moral decisions uh -huh. about Mass Effect but the engine was like a wrestling engine mm -hmm. so you could like do suplexes on guys and stuff Turn the other cheek suplex. <laughs> Thankfully, all of these guys have arches. 
So are these demons or people? They're dudes. Okay. They're the most, like, video game, video game enemies because they are literally just dude with weapon. Like, this is a dude with a weapon whose head is a circle. Right. Ooh, hit me. Oh, crap. Please don't tell me this is the last guy here. You don't... No, you can kill him without stealing his weapon, can't you? It just makes it a lot harder. Well, yeah, remember your weapons, like, degrade usefulness over time. Right, stuff, right, right, right. So, one thing I don't like about games is how the AI, while some games, you know, profess, hey, the AI is realistic and they adapt to how you play, still, you take, like, Metal Gear Solid, for example, where you're in alert mode and there's 50 dudes running at you and you pop them off one at a time. If you're the 49th or 50th soldier, you'd be like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> but there's a lot of games oh, really that I've jump. played that I don't see that, where it's like, okay, you've got like six dudes. I've seen that sometimes. You're like, okay, I give up. But most of the time, I don't see that. Like, even if it was like me and three other guys and the other three got killed, I'm thinking, okay, this guy is BA. I'm backing off. <laughs> yeah. I'm not even attempting this anymore. Or just, like, go full-on, like, fetal position in a corner mode where instead of fighting, you just go and sit in the corner. Mm -hmm. And, like, okay, he can't sneak up on me because I'm in the corner now. <laughs> oh, thanks, things. Don't drop me weapons or anything. Alright, what do we got here? More dumb guys. Steal your thing. Ow. Okay, I think I'm gonna try to kill the weaponless dude first. Because yep. Okay. I'm trying really hard to think of something to talk about. It's interesting. <laughs> but every time I sing the ring heads, I like get sidetracked. Because I'm trying to think of something else to call them. What else could they be? They're like Phantoms. Another <laughs> very generic enemy designation for a video game. Now, um, in relation to your point you were making before about enemies that are really powerful, or allies that are really powerful but can't help you, uh, the Dragon Quest Monsters series is really bad for that because uh -huh. you can recruit most of the bosses into your party as you're fighting them. Like, you fight them, and instead of killing them, you convince them to join you. Mm -hmm. Ah, well, okay, gotta focus. <laughs> and uh, instead of killing them, you convince them to join you. And they're dramatically less powerful than when they were bosses. Because obvious, and I mean, it's obviously like a balancing concern because well, maybe you it's... can't have, because your team, your monster team in that is three monsters. Uh -huh. So it's like you can't have a boss fight that's difficult for three monsters and then you get that boss and he's as powerful. Yeah. Or maybe there's just like some sort of penalty for pussing out <laughs> and like changing allegiances. Don't look at me like that. I haven't been keeping track of time, Woody. I don't know. Gotta fight Octopus Lady. Uh, it's 11.30. I don't know what time we started, but it's 11.30. Well, if I'm playing, you're the one who has to keep track of it. Right, 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 right. Okay, that hurt. I feel like watching Lord of the Rings now. <laughs> Seeing all that text in the background. You're fighting inside the ring. Man. Now she's one of the more important bosses to damage here. Because, uh... Oh, nice. I got my superpower on. Because, uh, she's... You fight her really late in the game, and her fight is really hard. Yes. So, um... You have a lot of ch chances to knock her health down in these fights for when you eventually fight her in her final form. And I did win, too, because I'm badass. Woo, Enoch, woo! So, uh, 
I'm going to go do some miniature golf tomorrow. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Had an American putting bat in Lincoln City. <laughs> okay. Um, this is the evil black realm okay. again. Uh, that's the place where I go. I get a specific game over if I lose there. And I have to start the level over again. Like, Should I go? You have to start over that level or the level you just this did? This level. The level you just did? Yeah. Well, does it add anything if you're successful? Uh, yeah, actually I do. Um, I think it's health. Oh, well, if you want to take that gamble. They should still be pretty easy. Okay, because, yeah. So you remember what they look like now. There's weird, creepy, like, platform maze things. So that's not a goose. That was like a phantom. It was a swan. Because that's what all of the archangels are right, right now. Swans. So if swans. you see swans flying around, that's the archangels. Swans and herb. So yeah, I'm looking for Ishtar's bones. Oh. Oh, there's another 2D set going. <laughs> no, it's jump this around. thing again. Oh. When the darkness is rising. You know what? No, that's like a pool of mercury that would kill you fast. <laughs> you imagine? Oh god, I didn't see where it was in relation to me. I think it's up and to the left. The screen filter is a nice touch. Ah, uh, don't see it. You're, you're, but you're going up though. You're fine. No, keep going up. Oh boy, you should go to the right. How fast does that stuff rise? Um, you'll see my screen start to change colors as it gets higher. Okay. Oh, that's it. Well, that was the way up. I didn't collect what I went down there for, sadly, but... <laughs> what, what were you going for down there? I was looking for Ishtar's bones. Oh, right, 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 right. Now, can you go back in there and do it again? Uh, I think I can. Like the little engine that could. <laughs> I think I can, but I might have to... It might be one of those, I think you might only get one attempt <laughs> each level. For some reason, I just thought of, like, Metal Gear Solid... Snake's Redemption story or something like that. Because that thing said, press the purification. <laughs> yeah, I could, yeah, I could go back in if I want to, but okay. I don't want to. The text said, press the purification button to do something or other. So all I could hear was, like, Campbell's voice. Now I'm going to walk into this creepy-ass forest of nails. Wee. Okay. <laughs>